and just got out of my second film, a uh, an English film called Treading Water with Emmerdale's Joe Jill in a star-making performance. I think there's a bit of a trend here at this film festival in the fact that I only seem to be seeing bangers, which I'm very happy about. A story of two very troubled souls. So the, the movie sets up Joe Jill's character, Danny, just coming out of prison. Um, we find out through very, very clever exposition, non-forced exposition, which is so crucial, um, very organic in the way it's filmed. We find out that he's uh, he, he was put in prison for stealing, and the reason he was stealing was because drug addict. And while released, he makes his you know he, he ends up in uh, in a sort of rehabilitation home, an outhouse type thing, where he meets other troubled prisoners uh, or former prisoners, and um, the. The kindred spirit who he links with is a childhood friend who is now a hooker. And yeah, it, it's a beautiful story about two kindred spirits, two troubled souls, two people who the world has effectively chosen to toss aside like yesterday's rubbish, finding the promise of peace and the solace of rest in each other's company and I mean rest for the human the human spirit um, the only the only um, solace they can find and the only peace they can find is in each other's company and the world really does stack the deck against them you know they've got little to no opportunity to get a leg up in life they've they've got to deal with their status quo now for the first two acts, I was like, this movie's good. It's very good, in fact, but I need it to go into domain of greatness. And man, did it decide to turn the crank in act three. What this film does so well is it makes, it, it really emphasizes how big the world is with very, very camera trick, uh, very, very, smart choice of uh, on the tech side you know what lenses to use what camera angles to shoot from in order to make Danny feel as small as possible in a very very big world almost like the big world is swallowing him up in order to chew him up and spit him out um, to brilliant cinematography to complement the really visceral story but I mean it, it's a tough watch man like horrible drug scenes, um, domestic abuse, There's, and in typical British fashion, when British films decide to go gritty, they really don't shy away from, from showing every single horrible detail imaginable. And there are moments of tension in this, like, I don't want to spoil it, but there are moments of tension, like when the, his friend, the hooker's friend, uh, the, the hooker's boyfriend finds out that Danny's been over because Danny's basically got OCD and the hooker's daughter was mimicking some of his tics and quirks and then the boyfriend sees him doing those tics and quirks later and then joins the doctor and realizes he's been over and that's where the domestic abuse kicks in. It's, it's brutal to watch but it's one of the finest films I have seen this year. I cannot recommend Treading Water enough. Once again, I'm going high here. This is a top five of the year for me. I think, oh God, what do I score this? I think I'm gonna have to go nine out of 10 for this film. The only negative I could really find for it is the fact that it does, the second act drags ever so slightly. Like I looked down at my watch and I thought, oh wow, we're only like an hour in. This feels quite long. Um, running time's about two hours, so it did dawdle a bit in the second act, but man, was the payoff worth it. The, the, the tragic culmination of events. It's one of the films of the year, man. Treading Water, if you haven't seen it, seek it out. It's one you absolutely must watch.